What up, morning guys, welcome to Saturday. We missed vlogging yesterday. You guys know, when people start missing vlogs, it's the end. No, just joking. I love vlogging. So if we miss a video, you know it was a crazy day. I actually started out vlogging in the morning. I will show you that footage right now. Good morning, guys. Welcome to today's video. It is Friday. Ellie, it's Friday and it's not hot. I can't believe it. It's not even hot. Like, it's cold almost. All right, it's not cold. But figures, the minute we get the pool, everything ready for the pool, the heat wave disappeared. When I got this pool, I bought it secondhand. They left two of the poles. So the guy just dropped them off today. So we have to try and put them together. Sam bought this. It's 78 degrees, this pool. And he got this today. And he got some chlorine pucks for it. And he got some shock. So the problem with the pool, other than we need to chlorinate it, is that we have these two pool poles that didn't come. Oh my gosh. <sighs> that didn't come. <laughs> and Sam tried to attach it, but I don't think that's the right way to attach it. Anyway, so that side over there has a low side and over here has a low side, but we just have to put these poles in. Got some extra connectors. First time using the clothesline. So I'm finally getting the pool set up. <laughs> And it's cold. It's actually not cold, but it's not warm. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you guys what I did with the uh, pool house. This is our pool house now. We got a little pool house. One of our old houses, the second house Sam and I ever bought together, was my favorite house that we've ever lived in. It wasn't a farm, so that's why we couldn't stay there. But it was my favorite house. It had, uh, I've shown pictures of it before. If I find pictures, I'll show them again. But behind, we had a big, huge in-ground pool. It was like an octagon shape. It was so big, so nice. And although I hate in-ground pools because they never get as warm and we had a pool house behind it It was a really cool pool house part of it was just like a pool house And then the other part of it was like a big garage. So this is all we get <laughs> as a pool house For this house. I'm so glad we found a use though. So anyways, all I did was clean it out open that window I used the clothesline and it actually works so good like just flies. That'll be so fun. Let's see if that towel dried overnight. Yep, it's completely dry. I think it needs to be washed now though. <laughs> Send it back out for a couple more hours. <laughs> Anyways, I uh, cleaned it all up. Cleaned it all up. Moved this little table so it wasn't blocking the clothesline area. It looks a little bit better. Um, we got a little net yesterday. We got some new filters. So this is how it looks. My plan this weekend is to try and, ooh, yuck. There's like bird's nests everywhere, old bird's nests. Everywhere on this property. Oh look, there's even a hook. There's even a hook up here. So anyways, my, my goal this weekend is to go yard sailing with Sam. It's my favorite thing to do. It's a Father's Day weekend, do-over weekend. Um, we're gonna go yard tilling and we're going to see if I can get like a little rug for in here and maybe like a little bench seat that people can sit down and change out of their bathing suit or whatever. I need to get some curtains. There's already like a little hook here, little thing that I can hang curtains on to give us some privacy. I'm gonna look at yard sales first and see if I can get what I need to just make it look cute for the summer. And then things just got going crazy. The girls wanted to go and do all these things and then I needed to like clean the house because I just got into this cleaning mode and then I don't know, it just got crazy weather. It was raining, it was yuck. And I was so busy, I didn't even know what I did. It was just so busy. So today we are back and I'm grateful to be back. Today is supposed to be our yard sale day and I just found out that it's supposed to rain for the whole entire weekend. I was also planning our trail ride, me, Gabby, Sophie, all together. Although, so Gabby's taken to riding my horse because she's easier than Storm. Can you believe it? She's easier than Storm. Anyways. She's just afraid of Storm. Do you think she's afraid of Storm? I don't think she's afraid. It doesn't do anything bad though. She has to fight him to go. She has to fight him to go. Penny, you have to pull. And I don't know, you're either a push, push to go kind of girl or you're a pull to stop kind of girl. And when you're learning to ride, they say it's much better to push than it is to pull. But I don't know, not for me. I mean, obviously, if you're gonna fly off because you got no legs 
when you're first starting. Not that I have legs. My horse doesn't need legs. But that's the whole thing. My horse doesn't need legs. And then she just wants, she just wants to be able to ride. She's been riding more since Sophie got this horse than ever before. She doesn't even want a horse. But now I think she does want a horse. She's been saying things to me like, you know, if I got another horse, I'd be really picky. And I'm like, yeah, that's fine. I don't know. I know that. And then she's like, yeah, but then I'm going to be going away soon. I'm like, yeah, but you're always going to have summers. And she's like, yeah, but I don't know. So I don't know. Sylvie had a dream. Sylvie has prophetic dreams like me. I have prophetic dreams all the time. And she does too. And when you have your most prophetic dreams are when you're about to fall asleep, but you usually don't remember because you're so tired. But when you first wake up in the morning, if you wake up and then you kind of go back into it into sleep, that's when you have your most real dreams. Anyway, she dreams that a trailer pulled up one day and it was a horse for Gabby and and we surprised Gabby with a horse so I don't know I, I don't see it happening anytime like right now but I'm just letting God control us you guys I'm just letting God lead us I'm letting God lead us lead this life show me where I'm meant to go and what I'm meant to do and and so far it's been working out great so who knows what will happen we got this little basketball net kit for our dilapidated pool <laughs> How's the what temperature? What's the temperature? Oh, it's actually warm. What's it say? Do you see the thermometer? It's yeah. warm. Where is it? Gabby! Anyway, we hit a lot of yard sales today. We bought that thing and the girls are playing with it. Wait, yard sales? Oh, it's fun. Um, it's at like 75. No. 75? It was 80 yesterday. 75. I left you saying that I wanted to like do stuff to this <laughs> little hot and all I did really is buy more junk to put in it but I did find a curtain oh. Oh. these are all of our like floaty things I found a curtain and a carpet all right so it does not look cute <laughs> but it works so I could like cut it and I could also staple this. Wait, is it inside out? No. I could staple this to the top here. It would look a lot better than that little hook. Or, yeah. Well, anyways, it's privacy. I just need one, two, three more. All the beach stuff is on sale right now. I have another one of these carpets and I actually love them. They really brighten up an area. And they're waterproof. Like the water just drains through them and dries all right so clearly the the curtain was a bad thing it was so cheap though so i just picked it up i like it that it's private i think i'm gonna really like it in here once it's private i really want some things to hang up on the wall carpet and the little puppy i have a ton of floating things like i had that for my granddaughter before i got a rubber tube for somebody when they come over. I got some diving things. I wish this table had like shelves. <laughs> I don't know. I need more hooks in here. So this is my tube that I use every single year. It was like 35 bucks or something and it's my favorite one. My favorite thing to do is to just lay in a tube and float. So I'm gonna get Sam to fix it. It has a hole in it. He blew it up and there's a hole and he's really good at fixing holes. So like I said, when we got this pool, two of the po two of the poles was missing. So then we set it up anyways because we wanted to swim when it was hot. And then we ended up getting the other poles and some pieces, extra pieces, but we can't put them on there now because the water's in. So I'm definitely gonna store those in here. Can you pass me that turtle? No, it's too heavy. Just throw it over here and I'll drain it. Ooh. All of them. Even the life vest. Yep, even the life vest. Wait, I don't... Good job. Ew, there's earwigs. Just shake it off. Just throw it. Uh -oh. This is a old life jacket I had when my son was a little guy and now he's got a, three kids. These are more floaties and I'm gonna get Sam to blow them up and then I'll just be able to put them in here. I saw somewhere where you get like netting and you put it along one wall and then you stick all your floaties in there. I think that's what I'm gonna do in here. In fact, I might do that today. And then we have these fluid things that kind of got destroyed. Those but they're, pool they're pool noodles, but they're like better ones. 
but they got all dented, but they still work good. All right, so I need more hooks, and then I'm going to make this wall. I'm going to put like those, you know, like bungee cord stuff uh, on both sides, and then you just stick everything in there. And then it looks like this. It just all stands up against the wall. I'm going to get all that stuff blown up. I'm going to ask Sam to do it, and then I need to get more curtains, and I need to get maybe some baskets to open all this stuff and put it in because I have a lot more pool toys. It's literally perfect for sitting down to get changed, but even though this is ugly and it doesn't really match anything, I like it because it gives you privacy, so I just need three more. Three more. I should go is out there, again. Like, not a wall right there? Yeah. What do you think? See, there's like no wall right there. I know. I'm going to hang a curtain there. So your curtain's going to go diagonally like that? <gasps> That's a good idea. We can only have one curtain. I need to get... Oh, never mind. Your one curtain's gone. Yeah, no I need to get a curtain for this door, too. For the door, so you need just a room of curtains. I just need a room of curtains. Wait, where are you guys going? Inside. I thought you were riding. What? 403 options. Well, I'm going to come and look at it in a sec. So, uh, Gabby's one request for summer holidays was to do a Bob Ross tutorial on... YouTube. So I bought all the paint and the brushes and the canvas and all that stuff that she needs. So they're going in to do that. They were going to ride, but then they decided to do that. We'll check in on it, but I'm going to go and give the baby her lunch. It's literally just a crappy old hutch that Sam needs to reinforce these stairs and part of the deck. But I think I'm going to put some chairs up there and so I can sit up there and just enjoy when my grandkids are here and watch them swim. Everything is so wet out here and you guys my life has gotten so complicated since i've like really sat down and explained it to you guys like oh, there's ellie she makes me so happy first i had the animals i had like the chickens and the goats and a pig and then sam mostly does the, the horses and that wasn't that bad and i have my dog we have the dogs it wasn't that bad and then i got the garden and the garden <laughs> I need to come out here and cut around it. It's exploding. Like, look at the weeds are everywhere again. Like, it exploded. Oh, holy moly. Speaking of exploded, that's a lot. But it's been raining, so I haven't hardly been able to get out here and clean up all the weeds. So I need to do that. I'm excited to do that. But it's really wet. My lettuce is so high. Look at this is a ginormous bottle. And the lettuce in a lot of places are as big as this. So I gotta come out and cut that stuff. Cut it. Let's see if I have any beans or peas. Alright, let's see what's happening here. Okay, so flowers, just no peas yet. Flowers are starting. No peas. No beans. See, the flowers are all starting. But they are getting high. I even have a little pepper started over here. I got the garden, which I love the garden. It's like a full-time job though. Like it's a big job. Actually, the garden is a lot of work. Then we got a new pig and that's been a, a, a busy thing. So the problem with our new pig, like, and it's a big problem. <laughs> well, he's a boy. And I don't want to say, I don't know how to say this, but boys come with their own set of problems. Yesterday, Sophie was bending down in, the, in this grass over here. I'll show you. She was bending down because there was a baby bird, like a fledgling, in this grass over here. We didn't think it was that big of a deal. She just was bending down, and that pig literally came over and tried to climb on top of her. And we're like, oh my gosh, what the heck? Oh, and there goes Ellie for her daily swim. Are you swimming? <laughs> Are you having a swim? I told her she needed a bath today. And there's Posey. I don't know where the pig is. I'll show you. I think I can find him. Come on, get out of there. So there's the goats. They have to stay up high because <laughs> he's a little frisky. They have to stay up high where the goat, where the pig can't catch them. High. High. Doesn't he look like a pig? Like a real pig? My friend messaged me and said he's huge. He's tiny. He is so tiny and so dirty. You need a bath. He doesn't like water though. He's literally so tiny for a pig, like, he's 45 pounds.
He's coming for you, Ellie. He only has one thing on his mind. <laughs> Ellie does not like him as much as, as, he, as she likes Posey. Come here, Ellie. Come on. So the new pig's been an adjustment for sure. But pigs are so smart, you guys. Like, it took him two days to learn our schedule. Like, if I come down on weekdays, I come down at 6. And on weekends, I come down at 8. If I come down at 6, he's like, I'm asleep. Leave me alone. If I come down at 8, he's like, you're late. <laughs> so, you wait there, okay? So then, all that, all that work. And then, there's this baby goat, which I have to feed three times a day. She... Hey, stop. She drinks 24 ounces a day of milk and she's still so, so tiny. She's not skinny like she has a lot of parasites. Hi, oh, baby. You're dirty too. Anyway, and then I have to spend time with my pig every day. And then we got the pool. So we got the garden and the pool, which are full-time jobs all on their own. Like cleaning up that pool, making sure that the filter's clean all the time. It's just a small pool. It's still like a job. It Somebody just went in the pool. Ellie? I must have been Ellie. She must have got out somehow. Ellie! Because somebody just splashed in that pool and is going for a swim and I know the goats don't like it and that pig doesn't like it. It has to be Ellie. Anyway, I think there's way more jobs than that on this farm for me. Like that's just like taking care of the animals. Like I also have the milking. I milk every single morning and every single night. Ow, goats are standing on my legs. Cricket, you're heavy. Anyway. I swear to God, you guys, it's a job. This farm is now a job. I'm like literally looking forward to fall. But once we close down the pool and get rid of the garden and harvest all that, I love harvesting stuff. I've been like making rhubarb stuff. I have processed all of our rhubarb, but processed the strawberries. So that's like all the work stuff. Like that's all the stuff that like takes time and takes work. Then we got the goats. No, then we got the horses and what we're gonna do with this them this summer. Like the temperature drop now, we're gonna have lessons starting again this week. So if he's getting ready for some shows, we're gonna be going to the shows. <laughs> like, I don't know how we're gonna, I love to be busy. I love it. But man, I took the morning off to go shopping today. It was so needed. I needed that, like just buying, we bought like, I bought so much junk. I bought clothes for Sophie. I got clothes for Gabby. I bought so many clothes for everybody. Then we went to yard sales and I got like, I don't know, I got a bunch of stuff at yard sales. So I took that time away though. And then now I'm like behind because there's so much to do on this little farm. I guess it's a big farm now. It's a big farm, it's a full farm. Did you know you live on a farm? I love this goat. You make me so happy, little cricket. Isn't she so cute? You're so cute, she's so calm. That's Toffee eating the cord of my camera. And that's Blossom eating the wall. There you are. Come here. Oh, stay here because you are soaked. Stay. How do you get everywhere? Posey doesn't like him. He just came over and was snorting to Posey and she she did a big growl and then turned away from him. He only wants you for one thing, Posey. Don't worry, I'll protect you. You just stay on this side of the fence. I'm gonna try and get him fixed. The next time our vet is out, I'm gonna ask him. My sister had a really hard time finding anyone that would do it. And our vet is out the next time, I'm gonna ask him if he knows anybody that can do it. Pigs are definitely a little bit harder than some other animals. But if I can get them fixed, then they can go together sooner. Oh wait, I forgot something. Not only do I have... Ellie, don't attack that pig. Ellie, he's fine. He's not hurting me. Ellie, Ellie, don't play with him. Even though he's really friendly, I just don't know how it would go. He's used to dogs. He grew up around dogs. He's lived with dogs his whole life. But I just don't know if he <laughs> would lay on her and squish her. So that little chicken that we tried to rescue her so she wouldn't get eaten with her eggs. Well, unfortunately, she didn't like her new home. So now I have an incubator full of eggs to take care of every day. When we were younger, we used to sit on the grass Among the flowers, we just let the days pass by People would tell us 
to get a grip of ourselves and get a job we didn't care what we were told cause when we were younger we used to sit on the grass and go damn i don't wanna grow old i wish i could turn back time mm -mm -mm. stay up all night singing songs on the terrace we didn't mind sitting out in the cold it was impossible to make us embarrassed we were free do you remember stealing smokes from your parents sometimes we got a bit out of control when they found out we ran from home just to scare them we were free when we were 17 Disgusting. Sadly, I forgot to change my shoes, so now my pink shoes that I wore out are black. But half of my garden is clean, so this part is where like the big vines are gonna grow. I don't know what I'm putting in here for them to climb up yet, but I have to figure it out soon. But once they get big enough, the weeds will overcrowd the weeds, and then the weeds won't be so bad. But over here, I got this whole thing all weeded. Isn't that so cool? I love it. It just makes me happy to look at it. The one thing that I haven't done yet that Sam's dad, I thought, would have done is that you take off a bunch of vines off of these tomatoes so that it can send more nutrients to like the tomatoes that are already growing. Like over here, I took some off today, pinched some off so that these guys could get sun when the sun actually comes back out. Could probably take this one off too. So then you just take them off, pinch them off, and then you just keep the ones that are most important. I thought Sam's dad would have done it because he's like really, that's his thing. But looking at this, it does not look like he has. So that's something I'll come out and do, but it's fun and relaxing. I love it. See those ones over there? Sam's dad probably did those ones. That's what they should look like eventually. I love it though. Like I love it. No, so it looks bad. I messed up. You can always fix stuff. Mine does not look like clouds. clouds. I need to fix that. So I until you said it was clouds, I thought it was amazing. Okay, well shut. So one thing you guys might not know about us, I think I've told you before though. Sam? Bob Ross. Pizza dough. Sam's making Bob Ross pizza dough. <laughs> Sam can draw, you guys. Sam can draw. And Gabby can draw too. Gabby is so good at drawing. She can just whip up something. Like, I suck. I suck at drawing. I cannot draw. And actually, that's not even true. I could draw like grade eight level. <laughs> can draw a really cute tree. I started this gratitude journal today and I came home oh from shopping God. and I got this little whale in here. Wally the whale shark and Gabby just drew him just randomly drew him I love him Sam is making pizza we're having pizza pizza dough so this is the one that I got for me isn't it cute I'm gonna paint this paint by number peacock <laughs> I also got this at a yard sale it's like blue and gray beads and my front porch is like light blues and creams and I have these wreaths that we had like since Christmas time and I want to use these. I'm going to get some flowers, but I want to use them to kind of bring the blue, kind of bring the blue over to this little area right here. So when I say I have a lot of projects in the process, trust me when I say that. 